The lesson that we are reading today is from the class 10 Bliss. It is lesson 5 Our Runaway Kite. The author Lucy Maud Montgomery. Let's read a note on the author. Lucy Maud Montgomery was born in 1874 and she died in 1942. She was a Canadian author who is best known for a series of novels beginning with Annie of Green Gables. There are eight books in the Annie series that she wrote. Numerous other novels followed, along with poems and short stories. She was made an officer of the Order of the British Empire in 1935. This short story is about a brother and a sister living on an isolated island with their father, who through a series of incidents get united with their long-lost relatives. It's a touching tale that underlines the value of relationships. So let's read it. Of course, there was nobody for us to play with on the big half moon. We just had to make the most of each other, and we did. We live on the big half moon island. We are Father and Claude and I, and Aunt Esther and Mimi and Dick. It used to be only Father and Claude and I. It is all on account of the kite that there are more of us. This is what I want to tell you about. Father is the keeper of the big half moon lighthouse. I am 11 years old. Claude is 12. In winter, when the harbour is frozen over, we all move over to the mainland. As soon as spring comes, we sail back to our own dear island. The funny part used to be that people always pitied us when the time came for us to return. They said, we must be so lonesome over there with no other children near us. Of course, Claude and I would have liked to have someone to play with us. It is hard to run pirate caves and things like that with only two. But we used to quarrel a good deal with the mainland children in winter. So it was perhaps just as well that there were none of them on the big half moon. Claude and I never quarreled. To be sure, father didn't seem to have any relations except us. This used to puzzle Claude and me. Everybody on the mainland had relations. Why hadn't we? Was it because we lived on an island? We thought it would be so jolly to have an uncle and aunt and some cousins. Once we asked father about it, but he looked so sorrowful that we wished we hadn't. He said it was all his fault. Claude and I didn't understand what he meant. It's always lovely on the big half moon in summer. When it is fine, the harbour is blue and calm with little wind and ripples. Every summer, we had some hobby. 
the last summer before Dick and Mimi came, we were crazy about kites. A boy on the mainland showed Claude how to make them. Back on the island, we made plenty of kites. Claude would go around to the other side of the island and we would play shipwrecked marinas signaling to each other with kites. We had a kite that was big and covered with lovely red paper. We pasted gold tinsel stars all over it and had written our names full on it. Claude Leet and Philippa Leet, Big Half Moon Lighthouse. One day, there was a grand wind for kite flying. I'm not sure how it happened, but as I was bringing the kite from the house, I tripped and fell over the rocks. My elbow went clear through the kite, making a big hole. We had to hurry to fix the kite if we wanted to send it up before the wind fell. We rushed to the lighthouse to get some paper. We knew there was no more red paper. We took the first thing that came handy. An old letter lying on the bookcase in the sitting room. We patched the kite up with the letter, a sheet on each side and dried it by the fire. We started out and up went the kite like a bird. The wind was glorious and it soared. All at once, snap! And there was Claude standing with a bit of cord in his hand looking foolish. Our kite had sailed away over to the mainland. A month later, a letter came for father. After he finished reading it, his eyes looked as if he had been crying. Do you want to know what became of your kite? He said. Then he sat down beside us and told us the whole story. Father had a brother and a sister. He had quarreled with his brother and left home. Years afterward, he felt sorry when he went back. He found his brother had died and he couldn't find his sister. The letter father had just received was from his sister, Aunt Esther, mother of Dick and Mimi. She was a widow who lived hundreds of miles inland. One day, when Dick and Mimi were out in the woods, they discovered the kite on the top of a tree and carried it home. When their mother saw the kite patched with the letter, she turned pale. It was the very letter she had written once to her brother. Philippa was her mother's name and Claude was her father's. She knew who we must be, so she sat down and wrote to Big Half Moon and Father received her letter. Next day, Father went and brought Aunt Esther and Dick and Mimi with him. They have been here ever since. Aunt Esther is a dear and Dick and Mimi are too jolly for words. But the best of it all is that we have relations now.